Hey, everybody. Well, first off, let me welcome you to the end of the school year. You have done such amazing work this entire school year, so I hope you're really proud of everything you've accomplished. Um, and let's get started on your final. So I just wanted to give you some directions on the final. It's very similar to our midterm, but still I'm going to give you directions at the beginning of the video, and then I will read the article at the end. So if you don't want to hear me read the article, you don't have to. You can just stop the video at that point. All right, so keep in mind, um, this is what your final actually is, this part over here, that claim evidence reasoning. Um, so reminder, you're putting what is the claim that the author is making? There's a couple of different claims that you could put, but you're basically saying what's the claim that the author is making. Um, in the evidence section, you can include maybe one or two quotes um, of evidence um, that supports your identification of the author's claim. Um, again, you should write two or three sentences that summarizes how this author supports her position. And then for the reasoning part, this is where you are going to explain exactly how those quotes and that evidence you selected supports um, that the author's claim is what you are saying it is. So um, very similar to what we did in spring. Again, that's what you're going to kind of do. If you're not sure, if you get stuck, I know sometimes it's it's easy to get stuck on the reasoning section. Feel free to private message me. Um, we can brainstorm ideas together and we'll get through this together. Um, so I'm going to read the article to you now. If you want, you can listen to me. If not, that's fine as well. Um, but yeah. All right. So cheetahs on the brink of extinction again. All right. Cheetahs are spotted cats, best known for being the fastest land animal, sprinting at speeds of about 120 kilometers or 75 miles per hour. They can accelerate from zero to 97 kilometers, 60 miles per hour in three seconds, making them faster than most sports cars. Cheetahs use their acceleration and speed to chase down and catch their prey, such as gazelles on the sub-Saharan savannas of Africa. Cheetahs have small heads, lean bodies, and long legs. They have a yellowish tan coat with distinctive black spots, and they are facing extinction. Pressure from climate change, hunting by humans, and habitat destruction are reducing their populations. Cheetahs also face problems from their own genes. Cheetahs have a low rate of reproductive success, meaning that as a species, they are not always able to reproduce. With fewer offspring, the population can neither grow nor adapt to changes in the environment. The next section is called bottleneck events. Cheetahs today are heading toward extinction. However, this is not the first time that cheetahs have faced extinction. Genetic analysis of wild cheetahs shows that they have survived at least two bottleneck events. In biology, a bottleneck event occurs when something happens to sharply reduce the size of the population. When this happens, the few remaining individuals end up mating with relatives. This is called inbreeding. This reduces the size of the gene pool and can lead to problems such as decreased genetic variability and the persistence of potential harmful mutations. When, change, when genetic variability is reduced in a population, it is harder for the remaining population to adapt to changes in their environment. In a very small population, any mutations that occur are much more likely to be passed on to offspring. The first bottleneck event that cheetahs underwent occurred around 100,000 years ago when cheetahs expanded their range into Asia, Europe, and Africa. This range expansion took place rapidly, spreading out cheetahs over a very large area. Because the cheetah populations were spread out across the continents, they were isolated from one another, unable to exchange genes. This first bottleneck event affected the populations of cheetahs, but they were able to bounce back. Over the next 90,000 years, their gene pools expanded as the population grew to a large size. 
The second bottleneck event occurred about 10,000 to 12,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age. The cheetahs in North America and Europe became extinct, leaving only the Asian and African species. As large mammals died out across the world, the number of surviving cheetahs dwindled. Some scientists estimate that as few as seven African cheetahs survived this bottleneck event. This led to extreme inbreeding among cheetahs, even though the population of cheetahs in Africa grew into the hundreds of thousands by the 19th century, their genetic variability remained low because of the extreme bottleneck event that took place thousands of years previously. The next section is called cheetah genes today. Wild cheetahs today are almost all genetically identical and heavily inbred. Evidence for this comes from several different indicators. One way to test for the degree of inbreeding is to perform a skin graft. This involves transpl transplanting a piece of skin from one cheetah onto another to see if receiving the cheetah, to see if the receiving cheetah accepts or rejects the graft. In inbred population, skin grafts are easily accepted among unrelated cheetahs. This occurs because cheetahs seem to have lost some of the genes that affect their immune response. Another sign of inbreeding is shown in skull development. In inbred animals, the skull is more asymmetrically shaped. A study of cheetah skulls in museum collections showed that their skulls are asymmetrical. A third line of evidence for inbreeding comes from the enzymes that, that cheetahs produce. Enzymes are important because they act as a catalyst and speed up chemical reactions in the body. Enzymes are a kind of protein, and as such, they are built from coded instructions in an organism's DNA. Among cheetahs, their enzymes are about 97% identical throughout the population. Laboratory rats that have been inbred for at least 20 generations will also have about 97% identical enzymes. By comparison, human enzymes are about 70% identical. Cheetahs are facing extinction from many different factors. Humans are threatening the population by infringing on their habitats, hunting and perpetuating climate change. Cheetahs are unable to cope with these pressures because in part, they lack the genetic variability to respond to these pressures. Cheetahs have faced at least two genetic bottlenecks in the past and survived. As the population of wild cheetahs dwindles, only time will tell if they can survive the current genetic bottleneck. And so I hope reading this article was helpful. Remember, you're going to find what the author is claiming. There's a couple of claims and you're going to put a couple pieces of evidence that you found. Remember, just because you hear the word evidence doesn't mean that's necessarily the evidence that you want to put that supports the author's claim. Um, you can put quotes there if you'd like, and then you could write maybe two or three sentences that summarize how the author supports her position. And then remember that reasoning part is really where you're really explaining how those pieces of evidence um, support what the author is saying. All right. Well, it's been a great year, everybody. Um, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Have a great um, time with your finals. You can do this. Good luck. And uh, I look forward to seeing you face to face next year after you have an amazing summer. Signing off. Bye.